Hi, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. I'm just on my way out, I've just finished work and I always like to clear my mind and go for a walk after work. But here's another thing what I actually do when thinking becomes almost almost where you've had a busy day, you've got lots on your mind and you're stressing over all these different things going on and your mind just seems really, really busy and you're getting to the point where you just cannot take any more. This is what I've taught myself to do in the last couple of days. I've been, as you'll probably notice, trying to concentrate on mindfulness techniques and really trying to sort of take my, trying to take control back um, of my mind and my thoughts in times where I feel very, very overrun and almost that everything's got a bit too much. And actually, it was my twin brother which was practicing it with me last night. We actually went for coffee at Starbucks, and in the middle of Starbucks, we are trying to recall or rather go through all of the states of america and this is a simple and you don't have to just do it like this as well but it's the it's the thought process behind it that what you're actually doing in that moment is you are blocking everything else what's going on in your mind so for example as i'm going through states uh, uh, of america i say one my brother cameron says one and we go back and forth that way and then, of course, it gets into a little bit of um, uh, discussions and debates of, of course, what is a state? What is um, sort of what is a city? What is just a district or or do you know what I mean? All those type of things, which you can get into a real strong debate and conversation. And of course, I'm always right and he's always right. So it always ends up um, as a real healthy, a healthy discussion, but really good because it takes your mindset off of what you're worrying about. And for a good hour, maybe an hour and a half, bearing in mind we didn't just sit there strolling through the states of America, we mixed it up a little bit and we went through countries in Europe um, and we went through counties here in the UK and my my brother and I learned Spanish at school. So we then started ruling off countries in Spanish, what we could remember from all those years ago at school. And what that's designed to do, I believe, is concentrating on the here and the now and what you're necessarily thinking of in those split seconds, rather than you carrying around all the burden of those thoughts. And bearing in mind, a lot of what we worry about, we have no control over right now. Somebody once told me whilst I was at work that if you cannot control it in the next 10 minutes, why on earth are you worrying about it? There is a song called Sparrows that every, um, all the worrying in the world won't add another minute to your life. And yeah, that's, that's really true. So I thought that I would start to really get a hold of my worries and my over excessive worrying because it's starting to have a real dr dramatic and very detrimental effect on me. In fact, um, I feel very taken over by stress lately. So that's what I'm going to be trying to work on. So you may see a couple of clips coming on the channel all around this. So that was my one technique of trying to give you a little bit of space to breathe. I don't mean go away and start ruling off all the states of America. I mean, have a chat with somebody, whether that be a brother or sister, mum, dad, nan, granddad, best friend, whatever. And do something like that. Or, you know, the game where somebody says glass and you go, that was, a, that was an awful one, but glass, and someone goes China, and then someone goes cup, and then you know that link back and forth. Uh, let's do that again. Coffee, cream, sugar, back and forth like that, do you know what I mean? And then you find a linked word. That is really, really good as well for enjoying the moment and switching off all those thoughts and those unwanted thoughts in your head as well. And just when life gets a bit too much, and if you're doing it with a brother, if you're doing it with a parent or somebody of that nature, then it's just going to turn into laughter and jokes and healthy discussion as well. So that was my one tip of trying to switch off from the moment, and that's what I've been doing. Anyway, another great tip is to take yourself out of the situation you're in, whether it be if you're at work from home or one thing or another, um, go for a walk. Go for a walk, do something spontaneous, and that's what I'm just about to do now. So I'm going to sign off, I'm going to leave you there, I'm going to go for a stroll. Okay, thanks very much, until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.